Hi all, I am Mangala Udayakumar from WSO2 Engineering team. In this tutorial, I will be discussing about enabling access control support for API publisher of API Manager 2.1.0. This feature allows to restrict the ability to view and modify APIs for a set of users. This feature was shipped as a BOM update for API Manager 2.1.0. We can also use this feature by using our weekly releases and you can download our weekly releases through our github for this particular tutorial i will be using the warm updated pack so in order to start with please download the api manager from wsm.com website after downloading the pack using the wso to update manager please update your pack I have already downloaded and updated my pack and my server is in running state. As you can see, I have two APIs in my API publisher. Now let's see how we can add the access control support for these APIs. In the shipped warm update, we have some instructions to use this feature. So I will go through the instructions to use this feature. As a first step, we will we need to enable access control under the API publisher of API manager XML. So let's do that step. First I will stop the server. After that we can find the API manager XML in repository con folder. There we can find the API publisher tag. Inside that, we need to add enable access control true. After adding this configuration, there are some instructions to existing users. If you are a new user, you can skip these steps. Since I have two APIs already, I will be following this section as well. So we need to open the registry.xml. It also resides in the same location as API Manager XML. So with this feature, we have introduced a new indexer and we need to add this indexer as a first element in the indexer stack. After adding the indexer, we need to replace the default indexing handler with custom API indexing handler. After adding the indexer and handler, we need to uh, change the value of the last access time location to re-index the registry. As you can see, in the default pack, we will have a similar value. So in order to re-index, we need to change this value to something else. So I will just append some characters to re-index. After doing these changes, I need to restart the server. We can enable access control using uh, we can add access controls using two ways one is through api publisher ui and through our existing rest api uh, in this tutorial i will be adding access control support using both rest api and publisher ui let's check whether the server has started server has started so in order to test this feature we need to have some users with certain set of roles i have some users in my system already so i will be using for this tutorial as well
I have two creators and the user with the creator username has two roles creator role and internal creator in addition to the internal everyone role but the creator one user only has internal creator role similarly uh, I have two publishers one is publisher other one is publisher one the publisher one has the user roles publisher role and internal publisher but the publisher one user doesn't have that publisher role I have another user with the username am admin this particular user has a role with API manager admin permission now let's go to the API publisher So as you can see in the overview section, the access control of this particular API is old. So let's add some restrictions to API so that only the certain set of creators and publishers can uh, view and modify this API in API publisher. So in order to add the access control restriction, uh, there will be a drop down called access control. In this we need to select restricted by roles. If we select all means it will be viewable and modifiable by all the publishers and create so I will select restricted by roles in the appearing text box we need to add comma separated list of roles uh, roles of the publishers and creators whom we wish to give the access to so I will be giving the access to the publisher role to the users with publisher role and creator role So I have successfully added the access control restriction. Let's check how this works. I will log in as a creator. This particular user has the creator role. So he should be able to see this API. So it's visible to him. Let's log in as creator one who doesn't have publisher role or creator role. As you can see the API is not visible to him. He cannot even see this API by searching. Now let's log in as publisher. He has the publisher role, so this API should be visible to that particular user. So this API is visible to him. Now let's log in as API manager admin. As you can see, this API is visible to this API manager admin even though. He doesn't have this publisher role or creator role. Since we read the API manager admins as a special case, regardless of whatever the user, uh, whatever the roles that particular user has, it, it all the APIs will be visible to all the API manager admins. That's how we control the access control restriction in API publisher UI. Now uh, let's move to the REST API. So now I am uh, this is the URL for creating an API so I, I will create an API with the name WSO2 API with the access control restriction the access control is restricted and the roles I am wishing to give this uh, per access to will be publisher role so now let's send this request so as you can see the API is created successfully and the access control is restricted and it's restricted to publisher. Okay. Now let's refresh this page. As you can see this is visible to this API manager admin and let's log in as creator who doesn't have the publisher role. It's not visible to this user. Let's log in as a publisher who has the publisher role. So this particular API is visible to this user. So likewise, we can control the access. Con uh, we can control uh, the view viewability and modifiability of API in API publisher. Hope you have uh, you have got an understanding on how to use this. Thanks for watching this video.